How will Jupiter and Capricorn speak to you and your sign? Find out at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Leo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of December 2019. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And it is in the middle of the month, right around the 12th, that we are going to have this month's full moon. Now, this full moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with friendships and groups you belong to. It also speaks to really big opportunities, often facilitated by others that can come into your life. Now, here's the thing. This full moon is having a connection of tension with Neptune. And even though Mars is speaking in supreme harmony with Neptune under the light of this full moon, it does look like what is transpiring now with either a group endeavor, a, a responsibility that you have perhaps professionally as part of a large group, or it could be with a friendship circle or a friend in particular. Well, it looks like it is this very area that feels in some way tiring or it feels like it's asking for a lot of your energy, that you're pouring energy in this particular direction. I'm so sorry to say, but it is possible with this energy that you feel one of these people within these dynamics that I mentioned, uh, maybe is not being as straightforward with you as you would prefer, or is deliberately not being straightforward with you. That can happen under this energy. One thing I'll say though, this is not the time to lend money to a friend or to get involved in financial dealings, uh, in particular with a friend. However, this can be a very powerful time for you to understand whom it is ultimately that you feel is truly there for you and to clarify where it is that maybe you are giving too much and where it is that maybe what you're being asked for is too much as well. You might be asked to in some way fudge the lines of whatever it may be. Now, sometimes those fudging of lines are not as big a deal. You know, it's possible with this energy that perhaps there's uh, some escapist tendencies, maybe too much wine going on, and that ends up leading to uh, some disappointing outcomes. That is possible. It's possible to overdo it in the company of others when we have energy like this. So do be mindful of that. But it's also possible uh, with this that it is just you choosing to pour a lot of your energy uh, in a certain direction where it may not be as appreciated as you would like. Now, regardless, it's not necessarily like you're gonna see everything very clearly right off the bat. You may end up feeling more empowered if it is that you end up having a conversation with a member of your family. That is where that Mars energy starts to bring its sense of uh, wisdom and perception to that Neptune. However, I would still say not the time for any kind of big uh, ultimate decisions if you can help it. But sometimes these decisions are kind of made for us. And if that's the case, it really is okay. What is for you will be for you and what isn't and whom isn't won't be. And that really is okay because we have another really lovely, really fabulous energy playing out. And that, of course, is Jupiter. Right around the 2nd of December, Jupiter is going to change signs and move into a daily part of your sky. And this is all about blessings on a level of uh, work and the people there and the type of work you're doing and health-related blessings as well. Now, of course, I've spoken all about this in the Jupiter Special Horoscopes, so you can have a look at that. It'll be up on YouTube very soon. It's on my website as well. Uh, so there is that there. But if it is that you truly want to understand what kind of blessings and newness that Jupiter is going to bring, just wait until we get to the solar eclipse at Christmas Day. It is at that solar eclipse that the sun will meet Jupiter in the sky. Now, these two planets meeting in the sky was thought by the ancients to be the luckiest day of the year. However, now we have a solar eclipse in the mix, bringing that much more surprise and electricity and excitement to the mix. It is so important now to just be open to see where it is that new opportunities, new understandings may want to find you because this really is about a brand new chapter. Now that could be in work, that could be in health, but it is showing up for you right around the days of the solar eclipse 
and it's showing up for you in ways that you had not expected. The more it is that you're willing to be receptive, the more it is that the universe can tap into the different pathways in which to speak to you personally and to bring new people, new responsibilities, and even new opportunities into your life at this time. Now, where it comes to matters of love, we are going to have this very beautiful energy that is gonna start playing out for you that I think you will absolutely love. About three weeks into the month, Venus is gonna move into your opposite sign. That tends to be one of the best times where it comes to love over the course of a given 12 month cycle. So here we have Venus in your opposite sign and it makes people that much nicer and it makes people that you're aligned with that much nicer as well, that much sweeter allowing you in turn to feel the love that much more. For those of you open to meeting someone new, it is this placement that speaks to attracting someone in your life with real long-term potential there. There's also a sense of feeling as if, as you move through the world, your one-on-one -on -one interactions are that much sweeter and that much nicer. For those of you who are just getting to know somebody, this is a very powerful a sense of you moving forward in the relationship, taking one step forward towards feeling as if this is someone that you could really be in a partnership with. For some, it is gonna be that sense of being in partnership with this person that starts to develop at this time. Now, for those of you who are in an established bond, uh, this is really one of the nicest transits you're gonna go through to feel the love from your partner Venus moving into your opposite sign tends to make it so that your partner feels a little bit more generous towards you, a little bit sweeter uh, towards you as well. And that ultimately can help to fortify the love that much more. What I love about this time for you, what I love about this month for you, well, look, there's so much here, but I really love that eclipse. I know it's surprising. I know it's quick moving and it does open up eclipse season. So we're going to end the decade in eclipse season, which means that you're able to recognize the spiritual lessons playing out in your life. Well, it is your daily life now that is infused with spirit in some significant way. You are having an important and a profound understanding at this time as to how it is you want to live your life. And you're getting to the essence, you're getting to the core of what it is that you want to do on a day in and day out basis. And as you reach this personal clarity, so comes big opportunity. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.